I put together this super aesthetic PC gaming setup for only $600 total, and that includes everything on the desk to include the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and even the gaming PC. This is a solid 1080p gaming setup, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build it for yourself. Let's get into it. All right, so we'll start with the headset and work our way around the setup here, and this is an amazing option for just 30 bucks. When you only have five or $600 for an entire setup, you're gonna have to go with some cheaper peripherals, and I also really wanted to match our completely red and black vibes for every Every product. This headset also only weighs 230 grams, so it doesn't really feel heavy on your head. It's rocking 40 millimeter drivers that sound pretty good for the cheaper price that you're paying, and bonus points that this is completely wireless, and it'll even work with consoles as well. It uses a 2.4 gigahertz dongle for connectivity, which is what I'd recommend, but you can also pair with Bluetooth so it can virtually connect with any other device such as your phone or tablet, but it also comes with an included 3.5 millimeter cable if you want to go down the wired route. And in terms of microphone quality, this is what it sounds like. And while I have you, this is just a reminder that you can go to zttbuilds.com to check out one of our restock builds, which are literally always available now in case you don't want to wait for our upcoming May 1st restock. Self promo aside, the actual model name of this headset is the Sin Pusin UG01, and it's currently sitting on Amazon for 30 bucks with a 4.3 out of 5 star rating, which is pretty solid. Most of these are actually 5 stars, and then it just trickles down. Oftentimes you'll see a 4.5 star score like this, but then there's a bunch of 1 stars for faulty units or whatever the issue is, so it's great not to see that here. And shout out to S-Rod for the five star review that's titled, My Son Loves Them. And then his review actually says, so I ordered me a pair as well. It's so good that he bought himself a pair. That's saying something. And real quickly, we also wanted to give another shout out, but this time to today's video sponsor, Kingwin, and they have all sorts of hookups to take your setup to the next level as well. Imagine that you just spent all that time and money crafting up a perfect budget aesthetic gaming setup like this, and then you finally go to sit down and relax and game, and then you got this obnoxious reminder that Windows still isn't activated. Ooh. With a proper gaming setup like this, you gotta activate Windows to remove that ugly watermark. And if you want some new games at a discounted rate as well, Kingwin is the spot to go do that. Kingwin has some really solid prices on Windows 10, Windows 11, and Microsoft Office, but they also have the latest game titles at some really cheap prices like The Last of Us, Hogwarts Legacy, and more. If you use my discount code Zach, Z-A-C-H, and yeah, that's pretty dope, we're on a first name basis here, you'll actually save 20% on all software to get those prices even lower. If you want to take your setup to the next level with a fully activated PC that's equipped with all the latest titles without spending a fortune, click that first link down in the description and use code Zach. And thanks again to Kingwin for sponsoring today's video. Moving along here, next up we get to the keyboard, and here we didn't have as much luck on this one compared to the headset. Now, my longtime ZTT viewers that have seen these setup guide videos before already know this, but the thing that you need to know for these types of videos is that I'm actually experimenting with these peripherals whenever I'm creating these videos. If I only pick the absolute best $30 headset and the best $35 keyboard every single time, the videos wouldn't change, so I'm often trying out new stuff that I see with really high reviews, and sometimes the products are in fact a mess. This keyboard is definitely an L, but I believe we just got sent a faulty unit and got very unlucky. This is a 60% board from Parity, and it does in fact have a really solid 4.5 out of 5 star rating, and a lot of people were happy about it, but our unit was being super funky and definitely defective. While doing my typing test, the keyboard was spitting out all sorts of different letter combinations, and it was definitely the keyboard's fault because whenever I turned off the power to the keyboard, it would instantly stop. We tried all sorts of USB 2.0 and 3.0 connections, it did some basic troubleshooting, but in the end, I think we just got sent a bad unit. There's only 5% one star reviews on here, which makes me think this still could be a solid option, but I can't possibly recommend it for my own experience. Just so we didn't delay this project, we obviously had to swap out the keyboard so we could game here, and I swapped it out to a keyboard that I used in our last budget setup video, which you can check out in the upper right hand corner. I have my full review of the keyboard up there, but this is the DGG YK600 RGB 60% board, and it's even a bit cheaper than the one we originally tested. I'm actually a huge fan of how this white keyboard looks with our mouse pad and black mouse, so I'm definitely digging the new aesthetic of the setup. This keyboard I would actually recommend if you are in fact looking for a $25 to $30 unit. Next up we get to the mouse, and here's where things turn around a little bit because this is actually a really solid choice. Somehow coming in at just $36 or $37, this is a fully wireless 2.4 gigahertz or Bluetooth 5.0 mouse that has a super accurate true move optical sensor, and I believe this is one of the best budget wireless options available. It's the SteelSeries Rival 3 wireless, and I actually had no clue that the Rival 3 came in a wireless option like 
like this until the day I was researching for this video. I was already a huge fan of how accurate and smooth the original Wired Rival 3 felt, and this one follows up to that very well. There's barely any lag at all, and I had no trouble landing the headshots with this one, and you can obviously trust a peripheral brand like SteelSeries, so this is a great pick in my opinion. It's currently sitting on Amazon with a 4.5 out of 5 star rating with over 7,000 reviews, but this posting does include the Wired model as well, which I'm sure a ton more people reviewed, so keep that in mind. The one downside it seems is that if you search for battery, you'll see a ton of reviews claiming that the battery life isn't that great, and that's not something that we have enough time to test, so keep that in mind if you're specifically looking for a mouse option that has a longer battery life. The Rival through Wireless takes just two AAA batteries, so even when it does die, you can simply just swap them out and get right back into the action. And for the mouse pad that's sitting underneath our keyboard and mouse selection, this is honestly probably one of my favorite parts of the entire setup. Usually when you buy these quadruple XXXXXXL gaming mouse pads on Amazon with a design like this, they can sometimes come with some shady printing quality, but this one looks really amazing, especially for just the 13 bucks that I paid. I'm in love with this red, white, and black color scheme, and I think it matches 100% perfectly with our now white keyboard and black mouse, and they have a ton of other really cool designs on Amazon if you're looking for a different color scheme. This is from a company called Canjoy, and this is sitting at a not surprising 4.7 out of 5 star rating, which is what I would expect. Now, I'm not sure why Sal on here says it's not an XXL mouse pad or even a proper XL mouse pad. I use a 10 keyless keyboard, and this mouse pad doesn't even fit my mouse and keyboard. Let's go! I'm honestly not sure what this person is even talking about. As you can see, it's pretty much the perfect size, even if you did have a bigger keyboard. So yeah, probably shouldn't listen to people like this. What you should listen to is the monitor recommendation because that's up next. And this is another product that I'm pretty happy with. I believe this is a somewhat newer option, but this is a 23.8 inch 1080p VA 165 Hertz monitor with a one millisecond response time. And it looks great for the price of around 150 bucks. It comes with a stand that doesn't have a super aggressive gamer look, which some people may vibe with. And you do have some height and swivel adjustability to dial it in. If you did want a different stand, it's indeed basic compliant. And more importantly than all of that is the actual screen performance, which I really like. The colors right out of the box are actually pretty solid and gaming on this was a super fun experience. There are some cheaper 1080p 165 Hertz panels these days from some off brands, but I do like the fact that this comes from a more reputable brand like Acer because you can just trust it a little bit more. The specific model name is the Acer Nitro XFA243Y. And if you're searching for reviews, you won't find find many and don't get confused with a slightly one letter off model name from a few years ago. Like I said, I do believe this is a newer model because I haven't seen much content about it, but I could be wrong on that. But either way, I do like the purchase here for 150 bucks and I think it's perfect for a budget 1080p gaming setup like we have here. And just in case you were thinking about swapping out the PC for a console, oh! you absolutely could plug in this monitor with something like an Xbox S, X, or even a PS5. This entire setup would work really great with consoles as well. But if you are in fact interested in the PC Master Race, then here's a PC that's honestly pretty perfect for a budget red and black gaming setup. And this will look familiar to you if you've been watching all of the latest ZTT videos. I just featured this in my $350 Flip and Friday episode, which you can check out in the upper right hand corner. And I would definitely recommend taking a look at that video if you're trying to create an ultimate price to performance budget 1080p build using some used hardware. For the Cliff Notes inside it's rocking just a Ryzen 3 2200G and an RX 480, both of which I found really good deals on. But in the video, I also include some alternative parts for you to use if you're trying to copy this for yourself. I also quickly spray painted some things like the CPU cooler and fan rings for virtually free aesthetic upgrades. And I love how this turned out for just 350 bucks. In terms of performance, it did really well in games like Fortnite where it got 143 FPS in 1080p Pro, Valorant got 182 FPS in 1080p Low, Modern Warfare 2 got 78 FPS in 1080p, and GTA 5 got 83 FPS as well. Pretty solid for the price. Overall, this is everything inside our $600 full setup guide, and the price actually goes below $600 if you make the keyboard swap that I talked about earlier. Paying $600 for absolutely everything you need for a PC gaming experience sounds too good to be true, but if you use some patience and snipe the good deals for both PC parts and peripherals, it's definitely a reality, and I encourage you to try this out for yourself. And if you're trying to build a budget but aesthetic gaming setup like this, but want to spend just a few dollars more, then feel free to click the video that's on the screen now.